Yeah, a friend of mine recently told me uh, he, he thought the biggest mistake for uh, people who started to write scripts was uh, that they just think it's all dialogue and not to actually explain the scene. So it's actually kind of very similar to what you just said. Yes, um, that's that's one that I find lots of dialogue. I find, and this is just, I, and I'm just going to go off on a list of personal peeves that I see a lot in first time, uh, or, you know, emerging and write and learning writers. People who have guns who would never normally have guns. <laughs> it's like somehow all of a sudden there's a gun. Do you right. know what I mean? Like most people I know don't have guns or if they uh-huh. do, they're hiding them very well. Um, and it's just like, you know, people without dangerous or violent lives are just like, now I have a gun. Um, one-sided phone conversations where you're only seeing the person go, mm-hmm, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Oh, Bob, I never said that. It's just really annoying. <laughs> right. um, um, people saying, look, I swear to God, in real life, people don't say this. Like, look, Neil. This is <laughs> don't start sentences, but people do all the time in film intelligence. Look. Um, calling any character ruggedly handsome. <laughs> I get like, that a lot. Uh, I mean, it's crazy how often people use it. I'm like, do you know what a cliche that is? Like, I'm like, there are, I'm like, just let's, let's, let's see ruggedly handsome as like, um, a thing that has a billion degrees. Now give me two other fucking words. <laughs> right. Um, and, and this one is really weird and abstract. And it takes my students uh, and friends sometimes a minute to get it. But people in film and TV use the expression back there a lot. So be like, hey, you were really great back there. Or like, <laughs> I, you know, I really appreciated what you said back there. This back there that I never hear people say in real life. And when I do, I'm like, oh, this is a unicorn. They said back there. But they watch too much film and TV because that's not how real people talk. So anyway, my sister always says, you should never say you were great back there unless it's in a sexual context. <laughs> <laughs> that works. So yeah. Hi, this is Patricia Tallman. I was on Babylon 5 and a little movie called Night of the Living Dead, and you're listening to Without Your Head. 